the metabolic changes which are associated with a deficiency of insulin. Since insulin is such an important hormone, the lack of insulin within the human body will obviously cause some effects on metabolism and the main organs or tissues those are responsible in are the liver, muscles and adipose tissue. So we have hyperglycemia and ketoacidosis and these are the main signs of untreated type 1 diabetes because we have elevated blood glucose and ketone production. So um, hyperglycemia is caused by an increase in, well, the increased liver production of glucose and that's combined with a diminished blood glucose utilization. So since a lot of the um, tissues like the muscle and adipose tissue have channels which require insulin to to basically work, these are GLUT4 channels, you're going to have a lot of glucose in the blood which is remaining there because insulin isn't present to bind onto these channels. So there's no uptake of glucose into these tissues. So it just basically remains in the blood. That's why we call it hyperglycemia. We also have ketoacidosis because uh, we have increased mobilization of fatty acids from the adipose tissue because obviously the cells are starving, they're not getting their glucose. So we have increased mobilization of these fatty acids from adipose tissue. And we have increased liver fatty acid beta oxidation and synthesis of 3-hydroxybutyrate and acetoacetate. And these two are both ketones. So we have ketogenesis here. So uh, we have hypertriacylglycerolemia also occurring because not all the fatty acids going to the liver are going to undergo beta oxidation and ketone synthesis. So some of them are converted into triacylglycerol and they're going to be packed into very low density uh, lipoproteins.